Hi, welcome to Now What with Brit and Sean. I'm Sean. And I'm Brit. On our channel, for grades K to 8, we learn new things and have some fun. Woo! Hey Sean, the weather's getting colder. Know what that means? We're going to drink some hot chocolate. Maybe. It's time to replace my old winter boots? Probably. We're going to get a pet penguin. No, it's going to snow. It's going to snow. That's awesome. I love the snow. We can go sledding, make snow angels, have a snowball fight. I wish it snowed all the time. Why do we have to wait until it gets cold? Just like rain, hail, and sleet, snow is a form of precipitation. When water vapor travels from the ground to the atmosphere, it forms clouds. When the clouds become full of liquid water, the water falls from the clouds to the ground. Snow forms when the temperature near the clouds is freezing cold, meaning it's zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit or lower. This causes the water vapor to turn into tiny ice crystals. These crystals collect on tiny pieces of dirt in the atmosphere and come together to form snowflakes. When enough crystals stick together, they become heavy enough to fall to the ground. Sometimes there are as many as 200 ice crystals in a single snowflake. Wow, I didn't know there were so many ice crystals in a snowflake. There are lots of fun facts about snow. Really? Like what? Did you know that snow is actually clear? It just looks white because of the way the light reflects off of the ice crystals. Cool. And did you know that snowflakes always have six sides? That's amazing. It's too bad it isn't snowing right now, though. I have an idea. Why don't we go to the snowiest place on Earth? There's a good chance it might be snowing there right now. Great idea. Let's go. <sighs> it's cold here. Sean, you forgot your coat. Oh. Now you forgot your hat. Whoops. Scarf. Ah. Uh. Mittens. Really? Now am I ready? You're ready. We're here in Sapporo, Japan, one of the snowiest places on Earth. Each year, it snows about 485 centimeters or 191 inches. Lots of people enjoy skiing, sledding, and snowboarding here. Every year in February, Sapporo hosts a snow festival that attracts more than 2 million visitors from around the world. Can we check it out? Sure. Check out all the snow and ice sculptures. And look, at night, they're all lit up. This has been a lot of fun. But I think I'm ready to go home and have some hot chocolate. Okay. Being in Sapporo gave me an idea for how we can enjoy snow all year round. But Sean, that's impossible. It only snows when it's freezing cold. It's not freezing cold all year round. That's okay. I'll show you how it's possible. For this activity, you're going to need a glass jar with a screw-on lid. You'll need some water some glycerin, which you can purchase at a local pharmacy, uh, like Rexall or Shoppers Drug Mart. Some glitter, uh, your choice of color. I chose white, so it looks like more like snow. A glue gun with uh, glue sticks. Some modeling clay of various colors. Some clear nail polish. And some toothpicks. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to use the modeling clay to create some kind of figurine or some kind of Christmas or holiday themed object that you're going to put in your snow globe. I've decided to make a snow person, so of course I need to use white to make the body of the snow person. I have some black for a hat, uh, some eyes, mouth, and also buttons, some orange for a nose, and some red for a scarf. So first I'm going to make some balls out of the white and I'm gonna do this so that way I can layer my snowman or snow person. Now in order to make sure that my snow person stays together and that all his or hers body parts 
don't fall off of each other. I'm going to take a toothpick and I'm going to insert the toothpick through all of the tiers of my snow person. That way, when it is in the snow globe, it actually won't come apart. Next I'm going to make a, a top hat. So usually when I see snow, snow people, they usually have giant hats, kind of like a stovetop hat, almost like a Abraham Lincoln hat. So I'm going to create a kind of like a disc here for the base. And then almost like a cylindrical top that's going to be placed on top of it. Once again, in order for this to make sure this stays, I'm going to use a toothpick to hold it in place. Now I'm going to place his or hers eyes and some buttons. And of course I have the I have the orange for a carrot. That seems to be a traditional nose usually. I don't know if I've ever used a carrot when I've made my snow person, but it's always cool when you watch cartoons and you see that it's a carrot nose, it's kind of funny. But I mean, if you don't have orange, you can always use green, maybe make a cucumber nose. Again, I'm gonna use toothpicks to make sure my nose stays in place. Make sure when you're using toothpicks and you're poking them through, that you might want to take off a bit of the edge or the tip so that way when you're pushing it through you don't actually prick your finger because that might hurt a little bit. And then I'm going to use red for my scarf and it gives him a nice warm scarf that wraps around his neck and then maybe falls along the side that way it's not too cold outside. But he should be okay since he is made of snow, so this is his natural environment. Now you can also add arms. I actually, I actually didn't have any brown modeling clay, so I kind of want to make sure they look kind of like sticks, but you can use whatever. I mean, you don't have to have arms if you don't want to. I mean, you can use different colors too. Now the next step is we're going to take the clear nail polish or as I've been told clear coat or top coat and we're going to actually put a coat over our modeling clay. Now the reason why we're going to do that is that when we actually put this into our snow globe and we put some glitter in there, the glitter will actually stick to the modeling clay because the modeling clay is a little bit sticky. So it grabs on to the glitter and then all you're going to see is a, instead of a snow person or a snowman, you're just going to see this big blob of glitter. So by putting on the clear coat or the top coat, we're actually going to create a, a surface that is not sticky and then that will not happen. And once you've completely clear coated or top coated your, your snow person or your object, um, you're, going, you're going to need to let it dry for a little bit. Um, to speed up the process, you can also use a hair dryer. So once your snow person or your object has dried and the clear coat and the top coat is no longer sticky, what you're going to do is you're going to now glue your object to the lid of your jar. And like I said, we're going to be using a glue gun um, just because this type of glue actually um, it, it, uh, it adheres really quickly and tends to be somewhat waterproof. So you should get an adult uh, to assist you with this because these glue guns get super, super hot and we don't want you burning yourself. And I'm going to let it sit for a minute or so to make sure that the glue has cooled down and has securely attached my object to the lid. While we're, while we're waiting for our glue to dry, uh, the next step is we're going to create the solution that is actually in the jar that's going to create the snow globe. So we're gonna take our a base of our jar and we're going to add a little bit of glitter. Now you can put as much glitter as you want but I I warn you not to put too much. Um, it can become too snowy in there 
and then you won't be able to see your object at all. So I'm going to use probably about a cap full or a half cap full um, that the glitter comes with. And be careful when you're using glitter. Uh, glitter is very messy and can get everywhere. So like I said, be careful. You might see glitter on your, on your clothes or somewhere in your house a few days later. This stuff does stick. Now we're going to add some water and we're going to fill up the jar almost to the top. But remember, we don't want to fill it all the way to the top. We want to leave just a little bit of room uh, just because we're going to be putting our object in and it's going to displace the water. And if you put too much water, it's going to overflow. And lastly, we're going to add some glycerin. Now, the reason why we're adding glycerin, I mean, you don't have to if you don't uh, have it and you don't want to go out to the pharmacy and grab some. But the reason why we're putting glycerin in is it actually creates uh, more of a viscosity into the, in the water, so it's a little bit thicker, so the glitter will actually fall a lot more slowly, and it looks more like snow. So I'm just going to add, I'm just going to add a, about a cap full. And as soon as it goes in, you can actually see, it looks almost like when you add oil to water. And it's just going to make, make the liquid a little bit more thick, like I said. And the last step, we are going to now secure our lid onto our jar where our object is. So we're going to place it in. And we're going to screw it on. Make sure you screw it on tightly because you don't want it to leak. It's actually better if you have a jar that has several ridges. Um, so that way you know that it's going to be waterproof or water sealed. And turn it upside down there is our snow globe and I'm going to shake it and there we go we have our snow globe that was awesome I made one too cool what did you make I made a Christmas tree see that looks really cool now, now what, what? Snow globes aren't just a fun activity, they make great gifts too. You can make one for someone in your family or for a friend. If you had fun with us today, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel so we can have more fun together. See you next time!